Hi, it's Oa and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 2023 December plan with me. I cannot believe that it is the very last monthly setup of this year. It is mind-blowing to me that it's already December. Like, where did the time go really but that also means that it's going to be time to do a flip through of my entire journal so if you want to see that then definitely keep an eye out for this video but for today i am using a uh, notebook from Sequest. I got it off of Amazon and then for the rest of my supplies you can also find them in the description box down below so definitely check it out if you want to see what I use and if you would like to get anything for yourself and for my theme I am going to be doing a Christmas present theme for December. I honestly was kind of out of ideas of themes for December. I've done a little bit of everything when it comes to holiday themes, but I got the idea of um, someone else while talking with them um, to do presents because I haven't done that theme in my bullet journal yet. So that is what I'm going to be doing. First of all, I started with uh, my theme uh, cover page and I started with just writing down December using the tumble dual brush pens and kind of doing the calligraphy effect but doing more like fake calligraphy where I just um, do the letters and then I thickened the darker the downstrokes to make them thicker afterwards it's a little hack if you don't really know how to do a calligraphy but still want to have the same effect. And I also did a partial shadow using a fine liner just to make it pop a little bit more. And I also decided to have some fairy lights as part of my theme, kind of like as Christmas lights, but not Christmas colored, if that makes sense. Just having the lights hanging from the top of the page, so you will see that in a second. The doodles in this theme, I kept them pretty simple, just with simple boxes, and then I just did um, different kinds of wrapping paper on them. So some of them are um, dotted, some of them just have lines, or like the traditional ribbons um, style. So I just did a bunch of different um, present doodles just to have some variety and then you can see here that I'm adding the fairy lights at the top. I had done previously back in I think September of maybe 2021, I'm not sure, I did a full light bulb or like fairy light theme and I really enjoyed it. I will try and remember to put it in the cards if you want to go check that one out. But I just did the same doodles that I did for that theme except that I made them a lot smaller. And then I got to coloring for my uh, color scheme. I decided to go with more muted colors. I did some brown some green, some red, and some yellow, keeping it pretty simple but still having some Christmas colors with the green and the red. And also I wanted to have the um, the brown kind of like as like craft paper for the wrappings. So yeah, that's basically it for my cover page. Then I just colored everything in.
now we are moving on to my calendar and I actually went back to my kind of traditional layout that I've been doing for many years after kind of changing things up a lot these past few months. If you've seen any of my past plan with me's, I try to have one page calendar layouts. I've tried monthly dashboards with a lot of different informations, but I am going back to my tried and true original, um, more like basic two page calendar. I have the first four days of the month on the left page and then the rest of them on the right. And I decided to keep a more like rounded shape for the calendar part. Um, just to kind of like balance it out with all of the presents which they all are like um, squared basically so I wanted to have different shapes and I used the green for the header where I will have the um, days of the week and then I'm just adding some brown to then add in the days of the month and that's the basic shape for what my page is going to be looking like. The rest of it is mostly going to be all decorations and just um, a couple more um, functional things. Um, but now I'm just adding a title and I just did the same thing that I did for the cover page to keep it kind of more cohesive and like have things match up between the different pages. For the decorations for this page, I decided to add some presents on top of the header and then I decorated the page, kind of the upper part of the page, with some fairy lights and I tried to keep it pretty minimal because I have a lot of colors and I've noticed that over the past year I've gone more and more minimalist with how much drawing I add, which I don't know if I like the more minimal style, but it's just what I've been doing for a little while now. And uh, I do in fact like the end result of it, so I'm not going to complain, but I don't know. It's just an interesting thing to realize that my style has drastically changed from even a few months ago, I feel like. But I just started to color everything in. For the light bulb, I actually just went over the outline of the bottom of the light bulb with um, some yellow. I didn't fully color it in. And then for the attachment part with the cable, I just added some gray. And then I just drew in all of the presents. And also, I didn't mention it, but I also added on the right page a goal section and a school section if I have anything for schools that needs to be added. And 
we are moving on to my first tracker of the month and that is my habits tracker. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know that it is a tried and true favorite for me. I always have a um, habits tracker in my bullet journal and I use it religiously. I really love keeping track of my habits to uh, one, maintain all of the things that I want to do every day. It has become over time almost a lifeline for me um, to remind myself of doing things. I've recently been diagnosed with ADHD, which probably explains why I need a habits tracker this much to keep myself in check. Um, because it is a good reminder of the things that I want to do every day and also I get the kind of celebration of being able to cross off something every day and it's a good motivation to do things but for um, this particular layout what I did is just have the uh, mini calendar shape draw in with either green or uh, red, just using in um, one off, like one of each. And then I just added a uh, header on top of each one. And then where the color is, I will fill in for every day of the month for that habit. Um, I can see through the color where the dot grid are, so I can still see technically like the like edge square in on the paper so I can use it as a grid reference to know where I am in the month and then I just did the title using the light bulbs and that is basically it for this page I kept it really really simple but that's one of the page that I always keep simple because I need it to be effective rather than pretty. So that is the final look at my habits tracker. now I'm moving on to my mood tracker and I had a lot of fun with this one. I decided to go with individual presents for each day of the month and then I will be able to color them in every day and I feel like it's a really fun idea for a mood tracker but also it is really easy to make and quite like easy and not it did not take me that long which is surprising which normally when i do um these types of mood tracker with a single doodle for each day it takes me ages to make but because it is just basically rectangles and squares over and over again it was really quick to make i think it took me probably less than 10 minutes to make so I think that's a new record for me for making a mood tracker like this and I feel like it's gonna be also very fun to fill in and then the way I use it I basically just have one for each day and then I will choose a color for each mood usually I go for um kind of like smiley faces from good to bad and I just decide what um, smiley face I feel like today rather than pinpointing specific emotions like I've seen being done because I, I'm really bad at telling what emotions I feel specifically rather than like a mix of emotion usually so it's a system that works a lot better for me and if you want to see how I use my spreads or just more content for my bullet journal then don't forget to follow me on my other socials they are in the description box down below and you can see more updates on there.
and now I'm going to be doing a double tracker which is going to be a sleep and study tracker. I normally do them separately but I'm running out of room in my journal. I'm really really short. I barely have enough pages to finish off the year um, because I left a few too many pages blank at the start in case I wanted to add things and now I'm a little short but thankfully it is the last month of the year so it is okay. I just combined those two to have a little bit um, like to have less pages to make and basically I just will use it as a normal tracker just keeping two things and I choose two separate colors for each of them. I have one for sleep which is green and then I will do uh, red for studying and since I don't do them at the same time it won't be a problem. Basically for this tracker I just have the um, days of the month which are 31 and then I have the hours of the day while running on a 24 hour clock and I will just fill in whatever thing I did for what time I did it. So for like tracking my sleep and tracking my studying since I've been back in school since August now and it's always really interesting to see kind of like when I study the most and kind of seeing if I have specific patterns and also um, just to see how much studying I actually do and for the actual um, spread I just added some lights at the top on top of the um, title and then some presents at the end. It was very cramped but I did manage to add a couple of things in and that is all for this spread. Second to last spread, I'm going to be making a highs and lows of the day. If you've never heard of this type of spread, it's basically a journaling spread, a little bit like there's gratitude logs or one line a day. But for this one, I'm basically focusing on one negative of the day and then one positive, usually like the most marking things of the day. And I feel like it's really helpful to have both one next to each other sometimes just as a reflective things and also to not forget that like negativity like things happen that aren't good and it's not healthy to just ignore them or pretend they don't exist and also just like always thinking of the positive is good but also I feel like we can tend to just go into like toxic positivity so it's kind of like helping balance things out and it's just a good way sometimes to just vent about things that didn't go right about my day but yeah that's just like a little reflection page on my day and to make it I just have the 31 days of the month and I just have one line for each day and I separate the page down the middle and on one side I have for the highs and then the other side for the lows and for each of them I just added a little present box and then wrote down on it if it is the high or the low and then I just added a really quick title and that's basically all for this page. Thank you. 
for my very last spread of this um, setup, I decided to go with um, a page that I would have done anyways, but normally I wouldn't obviously like mostly share it, but I thought why not sharing it? And it is a Vlogmas planner for anyone who doesn't know what Vlogmas is. Basically, it is the Christmas tradition of doing one vlog a day every day of December until Christmas and I try to do it uh, the last two years on my channel. I did mostly do it last year um, but failed for the last part of the month because I was hospitalized on the 20th and my health got really really bad so I couldn't obviously edit but it was a really fun thing to do uh, and also to just post more videos and I really want to take it more seriously this year so I'm making a page to plan out my content in advance since I'm in school I need to plan ahead a little bit more because I need to edit in advance a little bit if I want to be able to actually put out this many videos but I will have this page to help me and basically um, it is my regular um, content planner that I just kind of made a little differently to fit the needs of this particular um, season and I just have the main uh, spread which I have some columns which are all the steps to making a video from the date it's supposed to be posted, the title, and then um, if the video is planned, filmed, if I have a thumbnail, if it's transferred, edited, voiced over, downloaded, and then posted. And then I basically have a line for each day of the month of December until the 25th. And then I drew out like one out of two lines with some brown just to make it easier to read than just having all of it blank. And then underneath, I also added a little present and at the bottom I have a little space for videos ideas and then also for the a little mini habits tracker for each day that I've posted and at the bottom for my analytics and that is basically all for this video. I am really excited to have shared this theme with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to tell me in the comments. Also, if you have any theme ideas or recommendations, then please leave them in the comments down below. Also, follow me on all of my other socials. They are in the description box down below. And I all wish you a very re good rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!